Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Monday, Upgrade Pack Day once again. I want to take a look at the Serie A Tots Upgrade Packs that we should be getting today. I think we actually know which ones we're going to see because of some of the packs that have been released already in objectives. And of course, we have to talk about the SBC that was dropped yesterday. EA Sports finally did it. The Icon Moments Player pick SBC coming in at a bit expensive 730,000 coins but that price is up because SBC fodder has risen a lot of those cards that we looked at in yesterday's video saying it was probably a good time to buy a lot of those cards have gone up I'm not really selling yet though on all of them and I will talk about why a little bit later on in this video and of course I still want to take a look and keep monitoring some of these Serie A tots players as we head into a Monday on FIFA 22, because a lot of times the really rare cards, the high tier, and just the cards that people want to use end up rising from the weekend into the week a couple of days. And I think that could potentially happen this week. But like I said again in yesterday's video, we have ultimate tots right around the corner. So we're going to talk about all of that and more in today's video. But first, what I'm going to throw you to is another version of me for today's sponsor of the video. Huge shout out to Manscaped for sponsoring today's video on the channel. Lads, Father's Day is just around the corner and Manscaped is here to ensure that all father figures are looking their best and feeling their best this June with the best in men's grooming products. Treat him and yourself with this exclusive deal and join 4 million men worldwide that are trusting Manscaped with their everyday grooming needs. Use code TFA for 20% off your purchase at manscaped.com. Now let's talk about the products a bit. We have, as a part of the Performance Package 4.0, we have got the famous Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer with the advanced skin safe technology and the 400K LED spotlight for a very close and precise shave. We have also got the Weed Whacker Ear and Nose Hair Trimmer. We have got the Crop Reviver and Crop Preserver. This stuff is incredible. TFA approved. Also, as a part of this performance package, you will be getting the brand new Boxer Briefs 2.0, brand spanking new, and I would show you, but I'm wearing them. So there's that. It all also comes in this very nice, very quality leather tote bag when you uh, pick up the performance package 4.0. So all of these products are available individually and together in the package at manscaped.com. Use code TFA for 20% off and give the best gift possible this Father's Day. Back to the video. Huge shout out to Manscaped for sponsoring today's video on the channel. Let's get right back into it and let's start talking about upgrade packs because that is what everybody loves about the Mondays on FIFA 22, especially during team of the season. We get the TOTS upgrade packs. Now, what we've seen in the past few weeks is there's been a similarity between the league specific pack that we get as an SBC on a Monday. We also have had that same pack before in the objectives, either the first goal cup game mode or in the um, like the Premier League Cup that they did the first couple weeks of team of the season. So what we think we're going to see today on Monday is since inside the Serie A Cup, we have these two 80 plus Serie A rare players pack. We think that's going to be our league specific Serie A upgrade pack today. So of course, we will still have the premium Serie A upgrade pack. That's the one that everybody loves to go and do. The 25K pack that will require 11 rare golds, not league specific. We're going to have that upgrade SBC out today. I think we will also have the 80 plus times two. But here's the S here's where it gets interesting. Last week, of course, we had the 81 plus player pick. And that made the League One Tots grind and the craft of us trying to open upgrade packs for League One Tots so, so great. Because you had those player picks that gave out fodder that was really really good really consistent and also it gave out tots cards from all of the leagues that were out which also is good fodder i really hope that today on monday we also see the 81 plus player pick because if we do see that spc again what that's going to enable us to do is very you know hopefully it's the same requirements as well it was only um nine cards i believe and one rare in the 81 plus player pick last week right it was like the best craft that we have had the entirety of team of the season i really hope that we see that sbc again because that's going to a enable us to craft so much this week during Serie A team of the season and b it's going to allow us to save 81 plus player picks for ultimate tots coming on friday so those are my two wishes for today is the 81 plus player pick coming back and um you know you know i, I would be down as well 
for that SBC to be as cheap as it was last week. I think we were very surprised to see only nine golds and only one rare needed. It, make, it made the craft so, so great. So I think that since we have a pack that is added to the code via the objectives, like I just talked about, the 80 plus Serie A times two, I really feel like today might be the day where they drop that 81 plus player pick again. So we'll see what they end up doing with that. And again, like we mentioned, when it comes to upgrade packs, all it comes down to in reality is the pack weight. And the pack weight two weeks ago during La Liga was terrible. The pack weight last week during League One, I would honestly say was good because we're not just looking to pack the top tier cards every time we're going and doing these upgrade packs. Yes, of course, we have the chance at packing somebody like Rafael Leao or a Teo Hernandez or a Dybala. But last week during League One Tots, we kind of got tired of them from packing them so many times. But guys like Lafont. Ganduzi, Fofana, Terrier, Saliba, Payette that we were packing over and over and over. That was great. The pack weight was so good last week because A, you're getting so much fodder and B, you're, you're just getting those team of the season cards. It, it makes it more fun when you're just packing blues, even if it's the fodder one. So I have no problem this week for Syria. If the weight is good, again, I'll pack as many Milinkovic, Savage. I'll pack as many Bremer, Skriniar, Chalamoglu, Brozovic, Magnan. Get, throw them all at me, right? Let's let's get the tots counter from 114 to like 150, right? I'm down with it because that means we're going to be able to craft so many SBCs. And hopefully that also means they put out more SBCs in this upcoming week as well. Player SBCs, all that sort of content would be great. But that's what's going to make upgrade funds this, upgrades fun this week, right? It's going to have to be the pack weight is what we're looking for to be good. Now, one thing we noticed, remember last week, everybody was packing LaFont. Like I probably packed LaFont like double digit times, like 12, maybe even 15 times we packed them during League One Tots, right? I think there's a little bit of a theory here. LaFont's base item is a non-rare gold. There's a couple really good cards that are in Syria Tots that have non-rare gold cards as well. Rafael Leao has a base non-rare gold card. Um, who's the other one? Vlahovic, base non-rare gold, 78 rated item. Berardi, base non-rare gold, 82 rated. What we noticed last week is, you know how they released the premium upgrade, right? Which gives out 12 players, all gold, three rare. A lot of times when I packed Lafont, it was counting as a non-rare because since these cards like Leal, Vlahovic, Berardi in particular have non-rare base cards, that means when you open a pack, their card can either count as the rare item or the non-rare. So technically today when you're opening packs, you could pack a Vlahovic in an upgrade pack and still have three other rare golds from the Serie A in that premium upgrade pack just because his base card is a non-rare and it's kind of crazy how that works but it's just how the pack system is coded and it's actually pretty pretty great and pretty solid and i think that that might make a few more of these cards pretty packable this week I'm, i hope that that increases our chances a little bit and i got like vlahovic especially Leao and berardi right a lot of people want to try out this berardi card just because i mean dude like last year this guy his tots card was fodder I mean, nobody wanted to use it and this year he's got like an insane boost and it's crazy so you know, I'm really interested to see how the pack weight is today for Serie A Tots. Hopefully it's good, which makes it a lot more fun and more exciting to do upgrades all week if that content is good. Now let's talk a little bit more about other Monday content today. I don't think we have any player SBCs that are leaked. And again, like we were hoping to see yesterday and we actually didn't see, we did not have a player SBC yesterday on Sunday that was Serie A specific. So we're not getting daily Serie A specific SBCs. Now, I don't know if they're counting the MLS Maxi Morales that we had yesterday. By the way, this guy's five foot two. You thought Insigne was short? This guy says, nope, I'm beat him. Five foot two, Maxi Morales. I kind of just want to do this SBC. It's like 30K. It's a, it's a dub, right? It's super duper cheap. Great fodder for 33,000 coins. I kind of just want to use him in a game to see how five foot two looks. So that kind of might be a fun card to use, but we didn't have a Serie A player SBC in the game yesterday, which makes me think that we're not going to get a daily one for that league. Now, I don't know if we're still going to have daily player SBCs and EA is going to count that uh, MLS tot squad uh, SBC as, as one of those. Uh, but I think for today on Monday content, regardless of whether we get a player SBC or not, we are going to have our first upgrade pack that is Serie A specific as well drop on the game. Now, some of you guys may have already opened this pack from the Serie A Cup, 
but the 80 plus times 10 is basically the equivalent of last week's 75 plus times 10 for Lee Gun. The 80 plus times 10 should be dropping today on Monday as our gamble uh, Serie A upgrade pack. I would assume 83, 84 rated squad probably requiring a team of the season card as well. So some of your lower tier fodder might see a bit of a bounce. Your 83s, your 84s, your 85s could um, spike in price a little bit because of that SBC coming today as well. And that's probably going to be most of our Monday content. I'm not expecting anything super crazy. Nothing is ending. Nothing's expiring that's pretty wild or anything like that. You know, maybe another, uh, of course, we'll see another uh, Flash SBC. I'm pretty sure yesterday they dropped the Daily Flash SBC number one, and they didn't drop a number two. So maybe we're just going to see one or two Flash SBCs. Then, of course, the Tots Challenge number four would probably be out today. Hopefully, it gives out a token. Uh, we're slowly getting there on the tokens. If you guys have not seen, this is the updated token tracker as of right now. We are on 14 out of 22 tokens, and I think EA is going to have to start releasing those tokens a little bit faster this week. We're probably going to have multiple days this week with two or uh, maybe even three tokens in one day because we have to get almost to the end um, by the time we get to Friday, which is I think this Friday they're going to release the token pack in the store. It's going to give out that token, and it's going to be a really interesting Friday on the game and how it's going to impact the marketing stuff. Uh, but we're at 14 tokens right now. A couple SBCs are expiring soon-ish. The Serie A Tots Challenge 2. And then, again, so many of these are in objectives. It's crazy how many objective games you have to play to try to get these tokens for so Tots Swaps too. So that's pretty much the Monday content for today. I'm not expecting anything crazy. Again, a lot of the hype today is really just based around the upgrade packs. Now, let's go back to yesterday just for a little bit and talk about all of the stuff that went down with the Moments player pick. Because I know a lot of you guys are like, Nate, I bought fodder. What in the world do I do with it? Because I have not quite sold it yet, or maybe I sold a few cards. But what do I do with this stuff right now, right? Well, the Moments player pick did drop, and it was right in the range where we said it was probably going to be 600 to 700,000 coins. According to Footbin, this SBC is coming in right now at 763k. It's actually gone up like 30k in the last two hours. It was like 730, now it's 760. But it's somewhere in like the the low to mid 700,000 coin range. When it first came out yesterday, it was like 600k. Um, I mean, even right away, it was like 650, and now it's all the way up to 750,000 coins. And that is just showing you how much the fodder is starting to rise, specifically on the higher tier ends of this market. Now, a lot of these cards like 87s, 88s, 89s, I bought some of these yesterday when I was talking about it in the video. I just bought like one or two, right? Sent it to the club. I bought some Kimmich at like 20,000 coins flat. He is 27K. You're like, Nate, uh, did I was I supposed to sell my fodder? You could have sold your fodder right here, like 7,000 coins per card on a one day hold. That's fine. I also think though that a lot of people weren't able to do the moments player pick right away yesterday. I know that you can't do it twice and I know that it's not cheap. So both of those things combined, I think that some people saw this SBC yesterday and said, mm, 700,000 coins, that's pretty expensive. I can't do it quite yet, but I can maybe do it later on this week when I get weekend league rewards, when I get division rivals rewards. Oh, by the way, this week is also milestone rewards. So that's going to be even more packs given out to people. Upgrade packs coming this week. I think this is going to be an SBC that a lot of people will continue to complete and get done later on throughout this week with upgrade packs and more rewards being given out. So I think that this, this SBC price is probably going to stay around the 750, maybe creep up just a little bit more towards the end of the week. If we have better content, other good player SBCs or stuff like that that could make this go up a little bit more as well um you know and that's why i think that if you're if you have sbc fodder that you bought you know like if you bought canes or if you bought contes at thirty thousand coins or he was like 25k last night i believe right twenty six thousand coins spiked up to 32 he's still 31 32k list this for lazies right again we say that all the time like right now i have some allison on my transfer list i know i have a like two of him i think uh, Allison is 31,000 coins. I bought him. I don't even remember what I bought him for. He was 20K. My goodness, what a rise on that card. That's up 11,000 coins. But you know what? I'm not in a hurry to sell right now. We have multiple days throughout the rest of this week where this could still rise more. So you know what I'm going to do right now? I'm going to list my Allison for... You know what? I'm going to list it for 35K, right? He's going for 31, 32,000 coins. 
I'm going to list it for a couple thousand coins more than what he's actually going for in the market. That's called a lazy list. And if you don't trade with fodder much, you might be like, Nate, what in the world is going on here? This is basically just a way where you'll get a couple sales per day on these cards that uh, are just listed a couple thousand coins above the lowest buy it now price on the market because that's just kind of the way it works. Like this Kimmich is 27. I'm going to list them at 30. You're seeing these buy prices that I got, right? Really, really nice rises on this fodder. Now, if you bought the lower tier of fodder, let's, let's say you bought like 86s and you're like, Nate, these guys are barely up. Or like I bought Sterling at 14. He's only 17. I'm going to list at 22. I'm not in a hurry to sell him yet. I think he could go up further. If you bought the lower tier of cards, which we did talk about, right? 86s, 8,000 coins, 8.8K, 8 8.9. They're up a little bit. Uh, not as much as the high tier fodder. This stuff to me, I mean, 84s are honestly still low enough to buy, in my opinion. Uh, the 85s are up like, you know, almost a thousand coins a piece. They were stupid low this weekend in the low 4K range. 83s are still pretty cheap as well. I think today with an 80 times 10 Serie A pack, you might see those start to rise up a bit. I think with more player SBCs coming out and just, again, those guaranteed SBCs coming out this week as well, we're going to have a rest of the world tots guaranteed where a lot of people are going to try, probably try to hit an Oscar or Tavernier. They're going to do that SBC because it's going to be very cheap. Then people are also going to want to do an MLS tots guaranteed. I know the cards that are in these last two tots Tot squads are not that good, but people love a guaranteed Tots SBC so much, they're still going to go out and do it and take a chance and just do it for the fun of it, and it's going to be pretty cheap to do. So that that might cause a little bit of this lower tier fodder, and especially with the Siri, Siri A uh, Tots guaranteed coming on Wednesday, that to me is where that lower tier fodder could still continue to go up a little bit more. So keep an eye out on that part of the market. Again, the main message I'm trying to get across here is I don't think you have to sell this stuff yet. Uh, we talked about Vinokin in last night's video at 40K. My man's 50,000 coins, 93 rated TOTS card, exploding up in price. You don't have to sell this stuff just yet. You can lazy list it like I just showed you, make some extra profit that way, and then look to get out on this stuff later on in the week when there's a little bit more demand because I think this is just an SBC that people aren't getting done day one right away. They're going to get done later on in the week a little bit too. So, you know, maybe Tuesday, maybe Wednesday, maybe Thursday, I think you could see some more rise on this stuff and uh, be listing it in between now and then though. I think that's a great practice to be lazy listing and list those cards up on the market because you never know. People might, the market might glitch out. People might say, okay, I'll pay that price for that card and they'll just buy it. So that's my 100% recommendation with SBC fodder at the moment. Now, Let's talk about TOTS cards because I know a lot of you guys want to buy some Serie A TOTS cards for your team or you just want to go out and try them out, right? Well, it's a Monday, right? What happens on Mondays? You know, usually people get their foot champs rewards and I think people are still operating under that normal um, calendar type feel of, yes, the weekend is over. I've played most of my weekend league games and now I want to go out and try cards or I want to go out and play a lot of people, I think, save like the first gold cup even for during the week. And then on the weekend, they just focus on champs and stuff. So a lot of people are playing rivals, especially this week with rivals, the, the season ending. We only have a couple days left in the season. It's kind of behind my face cam, but you can see three days right there. Uh, this Thursday is when the season ends. So there's going to be a bit of more of a push on rivals this week. So if people are going out and playing games, that might drive a little bit of demand for some of the cards in this team. Now, Serie A Tots cards, yes, they're not as hyped as some of the other leagues. Do I think that some of these cards could be at some lower points like we talked about in last night's video? I do. Vlahovic is how much right now? Uh, 245. Two, I mean, that's kind of low for where he has been. You know, I'm taking a look at some of these cards like Leao is down right now a decent amount. Uh, I, was, I was watching his price. Now, a lot of your prices of these cards dropped off a bit because of the player pick from yesterday. Fodder goes up and also some of your other prices on the market go down because people have to sell cards to go and do the player pick. So like Tonali was down yesterday. Quadrado was down. Uh, like a lot of your Serie A Tots cards have dropped off in price a little bit. I think some of them could rebound back up this morning um, as, again, people want to go out and try some cards, buy some players just to give them a shot. And, you know, Monday mornings, you usually do see a bit of a rise on this part of the market regardless. Um, so I think you could see that with Serie A today. Again, I'm going to keep mentioning this. For the higher tier cards, the weekend has been like the lowest point out of all the last weeks. 
You guys remember how insane the League One Tots card rose, right? Like Paqueta was 1.3, he went to 1.6. Ben Yedder was like 2.2, he went to 2.6. Um, I don't think you're gonna see as crazy rises this week on the Serie A cards as you saw last week for League Gun, but I think you'll see a few of them go up, right? So I would just say if you're wanting to buy one or two of these players for your team to try out, have some fun with, and you know, not really as an investment, but maybe to try to make a few coins on, or but mostly just to try the player out or buy it for your squad, I think it's not a bad time. It's not a bad time today uh, because I think some of these cards could go up a bit with no lightning rounds probably until Thursday, Wednesday or Thursday. Um, I, I think you'll see the supply from these drop off a bit. Now they are dropping those daily SBCs and if those are tradable, that's gonna bring a little bit of supply on the market that's usually not there. Again, the only worry that I have for some of the top tier cards is the leaks about what's going to be happening with Ultimate Tots. And if the Ultimate Tots leaks look super duper insane, insane enough that would maybe cause people to not go out and buy cards, then that I guess would be a slight worry of mine is if the leaks are so good or if there's new information about how they're going to do Ultimate Team of the Season that's different from years past. That would be the only thing to me that would be like a red flag that would hurt a lot of these Serie A Tots cards. So there's really not that many red flags for me right now with these cards. So if you want to go out and try them, their prices have dropped down, especially on the rare ones like Teo Hernandez. I know he's stupid expensive, but he's French and you know, he's incredibly rare. He was like 1.1 flat. Uh, he's still almost right there. 1.11. So some of these cards are low enough for me that if you want to go out and splash the cash to use them, go have fun, use them, try them out. Yes, they could drop later on at the end of the week if Ultimate Tots is insane, but uh, I wouldn't be that worried about that right now. So if you're also looking to maybe flip a few of these cards, you know, just focus on the ones that are the most hyped and the most rare. Like Berardi was just down in the low 190s. I was able to pick up, I think like 10 or so of them at like 192 to 193. Uh, I just snagged a couple of those because he was like 220 or higher all weekend. And I think he's going to rise back up today because especially if people got reds, you know, if you got like a quadrata, which a lot of people have gotten, I've seen Tonali packed a lot from reds. Um, and then maybe if people did Pellegrini, I just think this is the right wing card that a lot of people would want to use. So I think he could go up a little bit today uh, along with a couple others just because it's such an interesting boost and he hasn't had a special card like that all year. So also continue to watch the out of pack tots market like Taliska. I bought a Taliska yesterday at 500k. He has not bounced yet, but a guy like Pedri was 1.17 mil. He's back up over 100,000 coins in the 1.2 range. I don't know where Darwin Nunez is. Uh, he was low 500s. Yeah, Darwin Nunez went from 500k to like 570. So you're, you're seeing a lot of fluctuation and a lot of prices move with some panic selling. And a lot of that was brought on yesterday after the moments player pick was dropped as well. So just keep an eye on these Serie A special cards. I think they'll do bits uh, in some areas this week. And then other ones will probably be a bit stagnant. But again, like I said, a, a lot of it does also depend on what sort of leaks and information we get about ultimate tots. Uh, later on this week. And that information could come as soon as today. Honestly, uh, it could it, it could start circulating. I remember last week on Monday, I think we had our first leak for Leao. So if that is going to be the same kind of like uh, time structure for this week, we might have Ultimate Tots leaks as early as today. So that would, again, be just something I'd keep an eye out on and be watching today on this market. But again, it's Monday. That means it is upgrade pack day. Oh, last thing. I didn't talk about gold rares. I think gold rares will go up a little bit. Try to snag them for like, uh, I don't know, 650 coins. They might go to 1,000 coins, but there's not as much hype this week for upgrades. So if you're trying to invest and make profit off of those, I don't think you'll see as much profit as last week. But I think if you want to go in and just, and just buy some of those to do upgrade packs, it might be worth planning ahead to do that. You might save yourself a few coins there. So that's what I'm looking forward to today on Monday in FIFA 22 Ultimate Team. If you did enjoy the video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.